Step 5. Putting the video together. Hello again. In this episode, we look at how to put your video together. Before you get started, it's a good idea to make sure your phone or tablet is working the best it can. This means that it might need to be updated. If you use an iPhone or an iPad, find the settings app on your home screen, then press it. Then press General on the left hand side and press Software Update. If there is an update waiting to be installed, install it now. If not, you don't need to do anything else. In the example that you're about to see, we've used an app called iMovie. We've used this on an iPad. If you use iMovie on a computer, it'll look a little different to this example. See the workbook for more information about this. If you know that you already have iMovie, you can skip this part about putting iMovie on your device. Otherwise, find the App Store on your home screen and press it. Then press Search in the bottom corner of the screen, type iMovie into the search bar and press Search. In the results that appear, select Get or the cloud icon next to iMovie. You might need to sign in with your Apple ID by typing your password or using your finger or face to log in. iMovie will now download. When it finishes, you can keep going with the next part. If you see Open instead of the Get or Cloud icon, you already have iMovie. Let's get started. Press the icon iMovie to start. Now you're in iMovie, press on Projects at the top of the screen. Then, press on the plus button to create a new project. Next, choose Movie. Go straight to the bottom of the screen and press Create Movie. Getting to know the screen layout. The screen has three main parts. In the top left is the viewer. This is where you can see your video as you're putting it together. In the top right is the library where you can get all your videos and photos. The bit at the bottom is called the timeline. This is where you actually put all the pieces of your video together in the right order. You can read tips to get help by pressing the help button. The learn more button will take you to the full menu. To turn off the tips, just tap the help button again. How to start putting your video together. Go to the library in the top right part, press video, then press All to see all your video clips. Choose a video clip you want to be at the start of your video, then tap on the plus sign. This will drop the video into your timeline. We suggest you start with the clip that has the words for your video. Keep adding all the video clips you want to use to make your video in the order you want them in. Don't worry if you miss one, you can always add more later. If you put two fingers on the timeline and pinch them together, you'll be able to see everything on your timeline better. You can scroll backwards and forwards by dragging one finger left or right along the timeline. You can press the play button to play your video at any time, but remember your video isn't saved yet. There is an undo button if you have made a mistake. You can press the audio button to see how loud the video clip is. We'll talk about this soon. How to change the order of the clips. Once your clips are all in the timeline, you can press on a clip and change the beginning point. You can change the end point in the same way. You can also change the order of the clips by pressing and holding a clip and moving it around. You can press and drag a clip out of the timeline completely if you decide you don't want to use it anymore. Don't worry, that doesn't delete the clip from the library. You can always put it back in if you change your mind. How to delete part of a video. You might want to cut out a part of a clip. Slide the timeline back or forward so the white line is at the beginning of the part you want to cut out. Press the scissors button to begin the cut. Now use your finger to slide the timeline so the white line is at the end of the part you want to cut out. Press the scissors button again. 
You can now drag that section of the clip out of the timeline to get rid of it. How to change volume levels. You can change the volume of any clip. It's great to do this so the volume of each clip is the same. To change the volume, press on a clip, then press the volume button. Drag the slider left or right and play it back to hear what it sounds like. Now you can make every clip have the same volume. How to add photos. Adding photos is just like adding the video clips. Go to the top right part of the screen in the library and press photos. Then press all to see all your photos. To add a photo to your timeline, press on the photo you want to use. To adjust the length of time a photo is on the video, press on the photo in the timeline and drag the width of the photo in or out with your finger. You can also move the order of photos by pressing on a photo and dragging it to a different place in the timeline. Adding captions. You can add captions if you want words to appear on top of a video or photo. In the timeline, press on a clip that you want captions on. Press Titles. Select the first option from the choices that appear. Press Title Text here, which appears over the clip. And then press the X at the top left to delete this text. Type the words that you want on top of the clip and then press Done. The words should appear over the top of the clip as it plays. Press the play button to see how it looks. How to save your video. To save your finished video, press Done, then press Share and choose where you want to save it. You'll need to choose a size. We think HD 720p is a good size to choose. Once you've saved your video, you'll find it in the camera roll of your iPad or iPhone or laptop. Congratulations, you've now gone through all the steps. We hope you enjoyed making your own training video for your support workers. By looking at the episodes in this video and using the workbook, we're sure you've made a really helpful video.